At this point, you've likely heard someone say that you can add real estate to your investment portfolio without going full landlord. That's the power of real estate crowdfunding. Investors now have multiple options, and you probably want to know which platform is best. In this video, we'll do an arrived homes versus fundrise comparison that can help you see which real estate investing platform might be right for you. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids & Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you like what you hear today, please consider giving me the YouTube triple thanks, that's hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then commenting down below. Maybe which one is your favorite between these two. Okay, let's start off by answering who is Arrived Homes. If you follow us on social media, you've likely seen that we're growing our real estate investment portfolio. One way we're doing this hassle-free is with Arrived Homes. Arrived Homes is on a mission to empower the world to build wealth through modern real estate investing. By eliminating a lot of the real estate headaches and allowing investors to get started with a low $100 investment minimum, Arrived Homes makes real estate investing something anyone can do. By pooling your money into select Arrived Homes properties with other investors, you each purchase shares of those properties. Then, you get to collect passive income thanks to regular rent payments. If the homes appreciate in value, you get a slice of that appreciation as well. Let's explore some of the best features and benefits of Arrived Homes to see if this platform might match your investment goals. The first one, low investment minimums. If you're looking to grow your wealth, you need to invest. Many people have a hard time starting their investment journeys. That's because investment minimums often require more cash up front than people have, at least when they're first getting their finances in order. This is one of the many ways Arrived Homes shines. Forget saving up for a big down payment and working to find the best mortgage rates. You can get started investing in real estate with only $100. That's the power of crowdfunding, and that's what I love about Arrived Homes. Another great feature is top performing markets. Part of what makes real estate investing profitable is knowing which real estate markets to invest in. Don't know the difference between Toledo and Tallahassee when it comes to home value? No problem. Arrived Homes takes the guesswork out of looking for properties. Arrived Homes properties are part of top performing markets. That's why you often see multiple properties available in the same or similar neighborhoods. Arrived combs through market research and employs local teams to know which markets should be lucrative investments. You can even filter using market options like best schools when you explore arrived properties that you might want to invest in. Another feature, rental options. When arrived homes first joined the real estate crowdfunding market, it only offered the option to invest in long-term rentals. Now, arrived homes offers investors multiple rental options. You can still invest in long-term rental properties. These properties are ideal for investors who are looking for consistent year-round cash flow. Since the long-term properties are leased for one to two years, years at a time to the same tenants, there's no need to worry about fluctuating incomes. Additionally, you can add short-term rentals to your portfolio now. Vacation rentals have the potential to help investors earn more income and take advantage of the booming short-term rental market. Another feature, no never-ending to-do lists. One of the biggest reasons people bow out of real estate is that it can become really time-consuming. Arrived Homes comes with zero operational responsibility for you. That means you're not dealing with distressed tenants if there is water in the basement or if an appliance is on the fritz. A lesser known and huge benefit to Arrived Homes is that they allow renters to invest in the property. By giving renters some skin in the game, they are motivated to better take care of the property. Anyone who has heard any landlord horror stories knows what a win this is. Arrived Homes makes it simple to get started with investing and the process of staying invested is totally painless and maintenance free. Another great feature, consistent passive income. There are no guarantees in investing, but Arrived Homes is designed to generally provide consistent passive income. You receive your payments in quarterly installments. Plus, Arrived Homes allows you to forecast what your returns might be. That's a helpful barometer for gauging how much you want to invest in Arrived Homes as compared to your overall investment portfolio. Now let's shift to Fundrise. 
What is Fundrise? Well, Fundrise is another platform aimed at making real estate investing something anyone can do. Rather than choosing individual properties like you do with arrived homes, Fundrise offers Real Estate Investment Trust, or eReits. After you create a Fundrise account, you choose a strategy to fit your investing goals and timeline. Once you identify a portfolio strategy, Fundrise selects eReits or other eFunds that align with your strategy. Fundrise continually monitors your portfolio to make sure that your investments stay in alignment with your goals. They also look for new investment options to add to your portfolio over time. The purpose is to create and maintain a diverse real estate investment portfolio to help you hit your financial goals. Let's dive into some of the standout features and benefits of Fundrise that help make the platform so popular. The first one, you rely on their expertise. The learning curve for real estate investing, it can be steep, especially if you have no experience flipping properties or working as a landlord. One of the biggest benefits to investing in real estate with Fundrise is that you don't actually need to know much about real estate, which is great. Instead, you get to focus on your goals and your future. Fundrise works to put together investment options that align with your portfolio strategy. Then they take it from there. They also have a low investment requirements. Fundrise lets you get started investing with as little as 10 bucks. There are investment tiers depending on how much you have invested in your portfolio overall. The Fundrise account levels are as follows. Starter, basic, core, and advanced and then premium. These tiers are based on the total principal dollar amount that you have invested in your portfolio. As you invest more money, you unlock different features and benefits with the core level and beyond enjoying the most perks. All levels come with auto invest options and some level of investor goal setting. Plus you can also earn bonuses with each qualifying fund rise invitation you send. Another benefit, automatic investing and balancing. Many investors benefit from taking a set it and forget it approach to investing. By not checking your account weekly or daily, you can ride out market fluctuations with a lot less stress. With Fundrise, every account level allows you to schedule recurring investments automatically. The allocations match your plan, and this is how Fundrise exposes your portfolio to different funds over time. Another great feature is that they're more liquid than traditional real estate. Fundrise says that investors should use the platform for medium and long-term investment goals. Ideally, this is money you plan to invest for at least five years. Even so, your Fundrise investments can be more liquid than traditional real estate. You also experience consistent returns with Fundrise. If consistent returns are something you're looking for as an investor, Fundrise is definitely a compelling option. Fundrise pays quarterly dividends. Investors should see dividends in April, July, October, and January since Fundrise distributes dividends the month following the quarter end. You also want to note that Fundrise does not promise a guaranteed dividend to investors and that dividends can vary throughout the year. Okay, it's time for the Arrived Homes and Fundrise Ultimate Showdown. Ready? Now that you know how both Arrived Homes and Fundrise works, it's time to put them head to head to see which platform is best. Challenge number one, keep things truly passive. Our winner is Fundrise. Fundrise is probably inches ahead in the race for income that is the most passive. That's because Fundrise allows investors to set up automatic investing. All you gotta do is select a portfolio strategy and let Fundrise do the heavy lifting. Fundrise will make regular investment payments based on the contribution amount and the time frame that you set up. Additionally, they keep an eye on your overall portfolio, ensuring that your investments align with your investment strategy. That's about as passive as it gets when it comes to investing. All right, challenge number two, learn more about real estate. We give the winner to Arrived Homes. Are you looking to learn more about real estate? Then Arrived Homes is the platform for you. They do a lot of market analysis and research that you would have to do yourself if you're gonna go buy a rental property. While this fast tracks the investment process, you still get to maintain more of a hands-on approach when you browse investment options. All right, challenge number three, getting started with less. Well, the winner is Fundrise there. When it comes to low investment minimums, Arrived Homes and Fundrise, they both shine. But if we have to declare a winner in the Arrived Homes and Fundrise, Showdown in terms of getting started for less, Fundrise is the victor. Arrived Homes allows you to purchase shares of their properties for as little as 100 bucks. Fundrise will start building your real estate investment portfolio 
for as little as 10 bucks. Challenge number four, dodging high fees. Well, this one is a tie. If you're really fee averse, then there may not be a clear winner when it comes to arrived homes versus fundrise. Both platforms charge a 1% fee each year. Pretty good. Challenge number five, maintaining liquidity. Our winner is Arrived Homes. If you're looking for short-term investments, you likely need to be looking to park your money in places other than real estate, really. Most real estate investments have a longer-term horizon. Arrived Homes and Fundrise, they're no exception. Both platforms remind investors to consider the money they invest to be a long-term investment of five years or more. But what if you're looking to sell off your investment sooner? Well, Arrived Homes is likely the winner here. Investors can liquidate their shares every quarter as long as they've held their investments for half of a year. Penalties are not disclosed until you sell, so you may or may not have to pay them. What about trying to sell your shares with Fundrise? Well, in order to avoid a redemption fee, you need to hold your Fundrise investments for five years. If you sell your shares back to Fundrise before the end of the five years, you will lose part of the share price value. Again, the exact amount isn't clear, but users report paying at least 1%. So, in the Arrived Homes versus Fundrise showdown, which platform is the winner? Well, it depends. When it comes to choosing the right real estate investing platform for you, it's important to be clear on what type of investing experience you want. Investors who are looking for an experience that is more similar to picking funds to invest in stocks and bonds will notice that Fundrise offers a similar experience. Conversely, investors who want a better feel for properties and markets while still maintaining a more hands-off approach will appreciate what Arrived Homes has to offer. One common drawback to both platforms is that on top of the annual fee, you can also incur penalties in case of selling early. However, much of the early criticism that surrounded these platforms when they first came onto the scene no longer applies. Both platforms have been responsive to investor feedback and demands, which is something we really love to see. So, are you ready to get started with real estate? We'd suggest spending time doing some research with both platforms and make sure that the money you invest is more for mid and long range goals. Then choose the platform that best suits your needs. You might even give both platforms a try. Well, enough from our side, everyone. We want to hear from you. Which platform in our Arrived Homes versus Fundrise showdown is a winner in your eyes? Do you have another favorite way to invest in real estate? Please let us know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.